everybody, Kimberly here, and it is a very gorgeous Saturday, August 1st. Um, first, I want to apologize for not reporting in sooner, um, but good news, um, there was a reason for it. It's because I've been doing phenomenally well. Um, now, I promised as I um, started this channel that I would chronicle all of the peaks and valleys, all of the ups and downs, um, and this is what happens. You start to feel so great, and you're not reporting back in, so um, I definitely want to do that and, and share with you what's been going on for about the last three, four weeks. Um, so the last time I re was reporting in, I was talking about my fusion. So let's separate my fusion from the discs above and below the fusion. So my fusion at L4, L5, um, according to my neurosurgeon, my last checkup is absolutely uh, more than on track. The bone growth is there. Um, it has um, solidified my hardware. Everything looks great and according to him, it couldn't be any better. So I am more than on track. Normally they say, you know, anywhere between six months to a year for full healing. And mine looks like it's gonna fall kind of in the middle. Um, since I'm at about seven and a half months, um, getting closer to eight. So my guess is by nine months, it's gonna be entirely fused. So yay, thumbs up on that. Um, now, about three, four weeks ago, I reported um, having an MRI. Uh, because of a fall I had taken and they wanted to check the discs above and below. Sometimes those can get uh, weaker due to a fusion, if, especially if you're not in that physical therapy strengthening your core. Um, so I was in pain from those, you know, two discs. Um, I took a couple of days, rest, ice, repeat, you know that routine. And um, because of that, uh, I was able to get back into physical therapy as quickly as possible. Um, I started going and doing short sessions of four or five days a week. And after only about a week and a half, two weeks, my, my physical therapist said, look, you know, you're doing your exercises at home. You are continuing your walking program. Your core is getting very strong. Your legs are getting very strong. And as long as you're using your proper body mechanics and keeping your spine in alignment when you are bending to do anything, you'll be okay. So I, um, you know, did that very diligently. Um, and you know, I'm not lifting, um, you know, 30, 40, 50 pounds. You don't need to do that. Um, so uh, you can uh, lift lighter pounds, um, uh, carry things, um, you know, in little groups. Also, you want to balance. Uh, that is another thing that I learned, um, flying. So yes, I'm very happy to report that um, because I have been doing so well, I got the slip that I could be traveling. And so I took the plane for the very first time in a very long time. I was nervous that I wouldn't be able to do this. However, because I have strengthened my core so much so, um, I had no issues flying. I zipped through TSA well as one can zip through security at the airport, right? But you know, you're flipping off your shoes, you're putting your things in the containers, and you're going through security, and I was able to do all of this without any problems. I was happily surprised, is all I can say about that. And then, um, you know, flying home, again, no issues whatsoever. So right now I'm utilizing this time to travel with my son, um, see family and friends that we haven't been able to see uh, for various reasons, schedules, uh, back problems, um, work, whatever it was. Um, but I will say now that 100% uh, on track, no problems with the discs above and below. So this is great news. And um, we got back from our trip and I drove for the longest time ever. Um, it was about three and a half, four hours with traffic. I was a little nervous because this is the longest time I've had to sit in the car. So I thought I would get to our arrival place and I wouldn't be able to move. But no, that wasn't the case. I got out of the car, walked around, I was fine. We went to dinner, yay. I mean, getting real life back. So um, I will say 100%, don't overdo it either. Uh, listen to your physical therapist directions because um, when you don't listen to your body and you overdo it, that is that that's going to be a problem. So um, you know you you just have to balance it. Listen to your body and listen to um, you know the people who um, are the experts because they are 100% correct. Um, so. I have had a, just a wonderful weekend um, with some family and the reason um, I'm trying to make the rounds and get in to see everybody is because what? 
I am definitely ready to go back to work. And um, so yes, I had started this business, um, but this, you know, was really primarily to be started um, to cover some freelance work that I had been doing before, um, as well as some friends um, who also, um, you know, needed, um, you know, this uh, 1099, um, you know, opportunity. So that's kind of um, just something that I was doing on the side um, and also just to keep my mental stability going. Um, but uh, I'm ready to go back out into the real world and have a real job, go to work every day. Um, so I um, plan to send out the resume. If I can fly, if I can drive, and uh, you know, you can always find a physical therapist uh, before work, after work, or you can do these exercises on your own at home once you've learned how to do them. Uh, I just look at everything. I'm very positive. I'm very happy. Um, and um, you know, what I will say is wait till you're healed before you go back because you don't want to have to pull back. Um, once you know that you're ready um, and and you know you're feeling better a hundred percent that's when you go back out because um, you, you don't want to take a job and and then have to leave because you didn't you didn't do everything you were supposed to do and and now you're not feeling well so um, I'm at the point and I have gotten again the go-ahead and the thumbs up from both my neurosurgeon and my physical therapist saying you are ready um, and the fact that I've been able to do these um, you know sh these these trips that you know long trips some of them that you know it's really proof in the pudding that I'm ready to go back to the to the workplace so uh, anyway you will be seeing me out there and I will be reporting again soon um, this weekend visiting um, some friends and just having a really wonderful time um, and without back pain and without back problems so anyway all right I am going to sign out for now if you have any questions um, you know, you can email me at Kimberly Rilla in real life um, at gmail.com. Um, I usually answer within about uh, 48 hours, but if you have an emergency or urgent question, just, you know, let me know in the subject line and I'll get back to you as quickly as possible. Um, I'm more than happy to answer any questions. I know it can be scary, um, but I'm telling you light at the end of the L4, L5 fusion uh, tunnel. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And um, if you uh, want to get these videos regularly, just um, you know, sign in and uh, sign up for the um, alerts, and uh, you will get them uh, regularly. So take care, everyone, and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Uh, Kimberly, signing out. Take care.